Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Jumped in here today, showing you guys kind of how I have my Streamlabs set up. And to show you kind of like pretty much like the basics of OBS and what you can OBS Streamlabs. And personally, I like using this one than just the standard OBS. Because it's a lot more friendlier and it's easier to use. And you don't have to try to like navigate to make your own stuff. Is they kind of give you a way to make your own intros, like starting screens or be right back screen. Stream is ending, like that type of thing. So let's go ahead and get started in here. I will show you guys kind of like how I have everything set up to my mic filters I use. When I stream, so let's go ahead and jump in here. I'll show you guys how to do it. So, pretty much like as you see, have seen on some of the streams I've done, I have my starting soon, starting soon too. I'll switch in between these two if I need to go AFK or just need to go grab something. You'll see me switch over to one of these two uh, be right back screens. But pretty much what we're focusing on is. When we're doing something like this, all right. So as you see, like I have my mic here for. As you see, I have my thing labeled as diverse roleplay. So I, when I live stream diverse roleplay content, or if I am recording diverse roleplay content, everything that I do goes within right here, captures the game. If I'm doing American Truck Simulator, I'll use this one. But I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys what you can do. So, right here on the mic, alright, go ahead and open up this source craft. And you can see, like, I have it set to my my speakers is my headphones, alright. And then my mic is right here. And you can show, you can see, like, I have our record tracks one. All the way through and then over here like you'll see from live streams I I have the viewer count chat box alert box desktop audio but the one thing that I really want to get into time in here and it's not gonna be under this audio things but this mic right here is actually set up over here so you'll see like the, the filters here all right We'll go ahead and just get through the nitty gritty with what it comes in here. So, um, that's not what I want. I don't want properties. I want to be able to show the filters. So you come in here, you can't hit edit. So you'll see like I have a game filter on. I believe what, it, so let me just go through. So noise suppression, like you all guys all know noise suppression. This allows you, so like if someone's like, let's say, banging around in the background, having the noise suppression on will actually help eliminate any source of background noise. So, depending on how much noise there is in the background, like, I'm in a bedroom, so it's going to echo just a little bit, but you won't be able to hear it because of the noise suppression. The compressor, alright, is kind of what allows your voice to, um, it pretty much picks up, like, depending on how high your voice is, it will not pick up anything that's above or below 25.3 decibels, if I'm correct on that. There's a video that I watched, and I'll probably link it to where the guy that I watched to learn how to set up all this, um, he goes through on what they are. But this is just for my filters for my mic right here. But since when you guys was asking last night when I was live streaming, um, December, December 21st, 2022, this is why I'm making this video is kind of show like how I have my stream lab set up. So pretty much, we're going to close that. I will probably post a link to that video down below. 
Um, so then you guys can go check it out, or I'll just post it in my Discord if you guys are wanting it. But, this, let me find it. I believe, is it Dashboard? So pretty much, like, if you're, like, in OBS Streamlabs, I don't know if this is our terms. Okay. So pretty much, here's all my stuff. Uh, tipping. Uh, I am good on that. Part. I, I don't really, I'm not asking for money. I'm just here to make content. All right, so where is it? So like, if you're like, so yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see us, but if you go to this right here, the dashboard, and you open that up, it'll bring up like a web browser. And when you go look at it, just make sure you have it connected to your YouTube account or to your Twitch account. That way, in so that when you're um, when you go to live stream, you can make your own logos and make your own intros. Personally, for me, like my logos, I use that Canva to make my logos. It's a nice little free to use um logo maker. Once you learn how to work with it, but Intro Maker comes in handy. It's what I have for my starting soon screens over here. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it. But I'll just pull it up. You can do like starting soon. Welcome to the channel. Going live soon. Like I took a starting soon screen and I said made it stream ending. Because they don't really have any for that. Where I just turned one. You can do one for like Halloween, Christmas, and whatnot. So. That's pretty much like how you can get in here. And you can go through... And just make it go through your filters. Set the chat box for YouTube. The alert box if someone subscribes. But I'm not sure if I've had. I don't think I've ever been able to get the alert box to work. To where I might just take it off for now. It might just work if I'm on Twitch. I might switch to Twitch in the future. But I just want to work on building up the YouTube channel. First, which is a long road to go. But. As you've seen, like, during some streams, like, I'll have the chat box on. And it'll appear, <coughs> appear right here when I am live streaming. So it allows me to see what you guys are saying. But it also takes up some of the screen. So I'm just going to turn that off. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off the alert box. Too, but the viewer count comes in handy for live streaming. So I... As you guys see, like, oh, say, like, if one person's watching, or two, most of the time, if it's, like, one person, it's myself watching my own stream. Make sure it doesn't lag out. Give me one second, guys, I need to get a drink of water, and then we'll just go through this the rest of the way through. <laughs> So that's another talk on this. Sorry about that. Boys and girls, I had to take a sip of water. So let me actually go through and show you guys how you can build your own uh, scene. So as you see, I got my new scene here. All right. Right now, it's just displaying like my screen capture. So what I'm going to do, so sources, okay. Let's say you want to... um. Let's see, um, let's say you want to do a game capture, all right? Under this new scene, we're going to put in a game capture. All right, let's just say, let's do a new source instead. Let's just call this BMNG Drive, since it's one of the other games that I play. All right, so you pretty much want to go and create your, uh, 
create it. So then you're gonna get oh looking for game capture. Usually I just leave capture cursor on and use anti cheat compatibility hook so that no one can um so that no one can like cheat if while you're playing the game. So this is what I usually just run it on so then we'll hit close and you have like your game capture so whenever you open up a game you will probably want to come over here and make sure you select the window that your game is running on. That every time you open up Streamlabs or you open up, let's say like GTA 5 5M, it automatically will pick that up when you open the game and you get ready to start your stream. This comes in handy. Another thing that I use is, let's say, um, the alert box um, that works for when you're doing, I would say probably mostly boot Twitch. So we're going to leave that alone. But since I work on YouTube, um, we're just going to go ahead and bring up the, we'll go ahead and add, add the chat box. So we'll just add it. All right, so this appears like when you're live streaming, it'll show like the chat box here. Alright, so it will appear like in this area right here. See, like, if you guys ever watch my streams, you'll see it appear right here. But then, if we like. Okay, right, so like when you're building, it's kind of like. It's whatever you want to do. So, like, if you want, like, say you're doing a fundraiser. Fundraiser or something. This is what you do. I might try out the subscription goal. Maybe. Um, whenever this probably tonight, December uh, 22nd, by the time I want to probably watch this video, I will probably be, um, going to check this out and see how, uh, this, uh, works out. So I'll probably do that for tonight. So the viewer count, you've seen that. Let's go ahead. Just add source. And it'll appear up there in the top corner. So this will show like when you're live streaming how many people are watching your stream at one time. Sometimes it's not accurate, sometimes it is. It just depends on what you're doing. Another tip that I'm gonna say. So let me go in here. So pretty much like if you want to do a poll, you can do this. You can pretty much see you have all these different widgets of what you want to do. But some of those are just what I prefer to use. So when another thing is like if I don't want to use like this mic, I'll do an audio input device. Alright, so I'm gonna just keep it at label as mic. And what that does is that it now enables me to use my microphone on this particular channel. We'll call it a channel or slot. So you can pretty much open up. You can adjust, say, you want your thing on one and two, you can set it to that. You see, it's already preset, test audio, yada, yada, yada. You're fine here. Now, another source I would recommend, like, if you want to use a camera, you would put this down so then you can set up the, like, your webcam. I'm not going to show because I do not have a webcam. But, like, if I want to do, like, instant replay, like, you have so many choices of what you can do here. But this is pretty much how I have my, uh, thing set up. So, like, and then you can just click on these tabs and just decide what you want to do. So, I hope you guys find this useful if you're looking to get into streaming. Alright. Like, these are some of the basic sources. Like, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave a comment. I'll take a look at them, but nothing inappropriate. Alright. Also, we will get marked for review, and your comment will be removed. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Short, um, somewhat of a tutorial. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. And have a happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas Day.
Day one and happy Hanukkah to those who celebrate it. And take care and be safe out there.